right, it's Right Gear here, and we are doing a wrecked walk around on one of these uh, legend YouTubers I've actually watched for a long time. It is Captain Narkill. Do check out his channel. He got me into YouTubing pretty much, or actually pursuing it a little bit. I guess I pursue it, I don't know. But anyway, check it out. intro you're making me real nervous like I'm like somebody special but uh, I'm just your average guy and I got a, a brand new setup 2014 trailer and everything else is just super old it's a 93 YJ it's a little younger than me but not by much it's a 2002 Ford van that I call my house and uh, man I don't know where should we start start here because that's what our channel is about a little bit off-road and this guy's definitely an off-road this is a uh, mostly a Jeep it's a 93 Jeep YJ body with a 2004 Chevy Vortec 4.8 V8 it's on 37s I recently had a 60 put in this is a 1992 ball joint 60 which we recently found out after not doing my due diligence that this axle is a uh, hard to modify in the steering department. Lucky for me, I got hooked up with Jesse from Southwest Crawlers. So he remedied the steering fix here because uh, before I had uh, the drag link here and it would get all up into the leaf spring, which was you know problematical. But now it's running kind of a, a true half high steer where the drag link is high, the tie rod's still low, but I'm totally cool with it because this thing's, you know, it's a runner now. So pretty excited on uh, that department. It's running some Tacoma Billistines because, I don't know, just cause. <laughs> and uh, these shock brackets are off of a uh, like 2000s F350 truck because the YJ ones are really short. Uh, Rubicon Express one and a half inch springs designed for a spring over application. Got the classic Jeep sweatpants boner in the front. <laughs> and uh, What's under the hood, man? Oh, under the hood, yeah, yeah. Back to that, uh, yeah, it's a Chevy Vortec. You know, it's a small V8. It's very similar to the 5.3, only it has a little smaller pistons and has a little bit smaller displacement, but just a little V8. Uh, yeah, we should probably check that out, huh? So, uh, yeah, this is the motor and uh, it does motor things, provides power, and uh, makes lots of noises that are really nice. Man, one thing I guess we'll address since we're over here in the front is I get a lot of heat for having round headlights in a Jeep YJ. And the reason for that is just because I'm kind of an ultimate cheap ass and one of, them got, one of the glass housings got broken and they're 60 bucks a piece. I didn't really want to do that. So I had these in the windshield and I kind of just relocated them to the grill and that was kind of the end of that and you know i don't know i think it looks all right it looks yeah i'm cool with it you know so now we're here in the cockpit and uh basically it's mostly jeep in here got a low car shifter novak that kid i was talking about also gives you this uh the linkage and this knob because everything gets moved further back i think it's just kind of like a way to clean up the, the install but I don't know, man. It's got autometer gauges, and I forget who makes this uh, this piece here, but it replaces your whole YJ dash part. And uh, I don't know. I think it just looks a little nicer. And Corbo seats, military surplus center console, uh, lots of zip ties. I don't know. Got some storage in the back. Get a lot of questions about this rear end, and it's actually a 14 bolt, only it's not the 14 bolt you're used to. This is a semi float 14 bolt. It's got a little smaller ring gear, I think it's like nine and a half, and uh, it's a C clip axle. So if you break a axle shaft, your wheel's gonna fly right past you, and uh, you're gonna be that guy. So right now I'm that guy, and I've only broken this axle once, and it was actually not even in the, on the trail, it was in a car accident. And there were bearings everywhere and the wheel went rolling down the street and it was really something special. Oh hey, how's it going? 
one. Didn't see you there. <laughs> this is uh, this is my dog Rex, and uh, this is the house. It's the living room, the bathroom, the dining room, the bedroom. It's the everything room, man. Everything goes down right here. And uh, this is also Rex's dog house. What is it that you do with all of this? I just get excellent gas mileage and just tow this Jeep around. And I'm just, at this point in my life, this is basically everything I own. I got rid of a lot of stuff, purged a bunch of furniture and clothes and sporting goods and stuff I've been hoarding for a long time and downsized to this basically. And I just have been cruising around and I'm just trying to live life and trying to see more of this country, I guess. I mean, it's kind of a tough question to answer, but yeah, I just, I got a van that gets like six miles per gallon. I got a Jeep that gets like 10 miles per gallon and I'm just burning fuel and just, I don't even know what to say. Check out my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me.